In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create this hero section using Divi 5. Now, we're not going to use our containers. What we're going to use today is Flexbox. Now, I know Divi has been um, updated recently, and it seems like it's much more stable now. So let's go ahead and let me show you step-by-step -step how I created this. So the first thing you want to do is to head over and create a brand new page like what I've done here. Next, we're going to go in here in our rows and this is the row we are going to choose. It's going to have two columns. So on the left here, we're just going to add a normal text like that. And then over here on the right, we're going to add an image module. So let's go ahead and add it. Now we are going to need three images. So let's go ahead and duplicate this twice. So as you can see, the layout here doesn't look great because it's one image on top of the other. So let's go in and change this by clicking on our row settings. Next, we're going to target our second column because this is where we want to align things properly. So I'm going to click here and then go into advanced module elements. And then we're going to go into the main element. And we're going to add this code called display flex. Now you can see everything is next to each other. Now the problem here is we don't have any gaps or any padding between these images. So let's go ahead and address that. So I'm going to go in here and add a command called gap colon 20 pixels like that. So now you can see that we have our gap between our images. So, so far so good. Now we might as well go in and add our images. So I'm going to click here on the first one, go on to image, and then I'm going to go into my library here and select my image and then click upload image. We're going to move on to the next one, do the same thing, select my image, upload it. And then finally, we're going to go in and choose our last image. Okay. So now that we have our three images, everything seems Good. On the left side now where we have our text, we need to update this. So first of all, let's go ahead and add our button. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and add it. Now, if you want, you can go in and add the title to your button. So I can just go in here and say, start shopping. Okay. And then obviously over here on the link, this is where you want to add your button link. Now let's head over back to our text module. Now let's say we want to add our own text. This is where you'd go in and replace this text right here with your own text. And by the way, if you want to learn how to design professional looking websites, I have a free course. You can go ahead and sign up for free. It's only about five or six lessons. So you can go in there within a couple of hours, you're going to be able to master how you design professional looking websites. Anyway, so over here now, let's go ahead and customize our text. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of some of this text because it's a bit too much. All right. So we are going to have a heading of some sort, and we're going to make this dark. So let's uh, uh, highlight this text right here in the middle and let's set this to heading two. So you can see here it's gone much bigger and the paragraph below, let's make it slightly uh, shorter as well. But what we need to do now is to make this heading two much bigger than it is. So I'm going to now come over here to design heading text. So we know we set it to heading two. So let's go ahead and select that and bump up the size. So we can make this as big as we want here. So let's try 48. Now I need to adjust a bit my on my line height. So let's go with 1.2. In fact, we might need to reduce this a little bit. Okay, we're going to go with 1.1 EM. That's much better. So on the row settings here, I want to make this slightly wider because right now it is not wide enough. So let's go to design sizing. So at the moment, you can see it's 1080 pixels. So I'm going to set this to 90. And already that's looking much better. I'm also going to do the same here on the top. Let's set this to 90. On the custom gutter width here, let's uh, set this to 2. And then I'm going to equalize column height. All right, so now my design is looking great. And let's do a quick preview. So let's first of all save this and then preview. All 
All right, so on our preview here, we can see our images are looking great. Now, on my section here, it doesn't have enough padding. So let's go ahead and use another code which makes our image fit the screen. So making sure that you've selected section settings, you want to come over here to design and then go to sizing. So here you want to, you want to go to height and then set this to 100 VH. So now you can see that it's covering our screen, but our content now is stuck at the top. So we want this centered. So the second thing we need to do here is to head over to advanced. So what this does now, it just centers everything just like that. So now this is looking good. Next, we want to um, just adjust these images here. So I'm going to select the middle one, go to design, and we're going to give this some negative margin. So let's say minus 40. Okay, so I think that works. Maybe we might need to bump this a little bit more. Let's go with minus. Okay, let's go with minus 80. And then on this one here, we're going to go with, let's say, minus, minus 40 or my, even minus 20. Okay, so I think on my layout here, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. The next step now is to test this and see if this is working great on mobile devices. So first things first, I'm going to come over here to my tablet. And on my tablet here, in fact, I really like <laughs> how it looks here. But if I wanted to go in and uh, customize this, I can actually go in and remove my negative margin. But I like the way it's wrapped around the button here. Okay, now let's move on to the phone. And now on the phone here, things don't look great. So we need to fix this. So again, what we need to do is to target our column. So I'm going to click here and we're going to go to the second column here. Now let's go to advanced module elements. And over here now we're going to do something different. I'm going to say flex direction. And this time it's going to be column like that. So now you can see our images are now stacked. Now we don't have a gap between them, but we can fix that in a moment. So let's go in and add our code. We're going to say gap colon uh, 20 pixels. Okay. So now that we have this set, now remember we had negative margin sets uh, earlier on. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to click on this uh, image right here, go to my design and instead of having it at minus 80 here, I'm just going to bring it down to zero. And now you can see we have our gap restored. Okay. So now it's looking great. All I have to do now is to head over to my normal layout. And then we are going to save this for now. The next thing we're going to do now is to go in and add our background because right now, although this looks very clean, it would be nice if we have a touch of color on our background. So let's go ahead and click here on our section settings. We're going to go to background and we're going to go to gradient. So let's start adding our colors. So my first color here is going to be white. And then I'm just going to move this over here close to the middle like that. And I'm going to add my second color. Okay. And then I'm also going to add another plus. And we're going to add my third color. And then my last color here, I'm going to set this to white. Okay. So now, as you can see, we have our gradient done. I'm just going to uh, fix my direction here like that. Now, if you want, we can reverse this and have it this way. In fact, I think I prefer it this way. All right. So what we're going to do now is... We are now going to play around with the gradient. So perhaps you may want to go with circular. So this could be something maybe you want to go with. Now we're going to drag this in a little bit like that. Now I know this is very, very powerful. So let's go ahead and reduce this by adding transparency. So we're going to go and bring this down until we are happy with 
where it at where where it's at okay so perhaps maybe we could go with something like that but if you want to go with uh, maybe elliptical or you can go with conical i mean this looks quite nice as well it's very subtle and it doesn't really overpower what we've done so this looks quite cool but in my example i had gone with linear and again linear is okay but i think i'm i'm really liking this one here so let's add a bit more color into this okay so i think this looks great because now we have the color here where we have the images so let's go ahead now and hit save and then let's do our preview so there we go we have our preview now and as you can see here we have a nice looking layout and if we try and move this around you can see there that everything is mobile responsive all right so there you have it if you haven't purchased DV, i would uh, highly recommend you do that i have a link to that in the video description below now keep an eye on this channel i'll be producing a lot more tutorials on how to use DV5 and generally how to create awesome looking websites. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.